Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have already discussed in detail about mall customer segmentation using K-means clustering algorithm, which is one of the very popular unsupervised machine learning algorithm, right? So here, this is our popular mall customer segmentation data set where we have tried to segment or cluster our customer based on these two parameters, annual income and spending score. So we have seen using elbow method that the optimal number of cluster for which within cluster sum of square difference uh, we are getting minimum is k equal to 5 and based on k equal to 5 we have clustered right so in my this video i am not going to show you any new machine learning concept rather i am going to show you one uh, interesting visualization related to this k-means clustering algorithm okay so what we are going to do in our this video we will join individual data point with the corresponding cluster center okay whatever uh, cluster inside whatever cluster whatever data point is present we will connect all the data point with, with the center of the cluster and uh, we can visualize that in a more better way okay so let me go to code what modification i have done with respect to previous code let me discuss see clc clearal closal warning of as we generally write reading the uh, mall customer segmentation data file what, what is present in my current directory you can see here then i am taking four and five column and all rows because you can see the annual income and spending score what is the column number one two three four four and five right because in matlab index starts from one right now what we are doing we are doing standardization right j equal to x minus mu by sigma where x is my original variable right so this standardization is required for k-means clustering algorithm because k-means clustering algorithm is basically distance based distance calculation based algorithm so obviously you should uh, standardize or normalize right and uh, we generally prefer standardization so i, I have done standardization now we are converting this data set which is basically in table format to array because the inbuilt function came in takes array right then for the time being don't consider this line later i will discuss what is the meaning of this line colors consider this for loop this is the main hero of this particular visualization for k equal to 1 to 5 so we are basically varying our k variable okay our um, there is total number of clusters starting from 1 to 5 okay now each time i am clearing my previous figure window if it exists okay then applying k-means clustering algorithm i am calculating the index corresponding to which one data point uh, is belongs to and central location which will give us the central location x comma y for each cluster right k-means data data is basically annual income and spending score whatever we have presented here as array and then the k value of the k-means algorithm then plotting the data simply using scatter plot and black color as simple as that now hold on okay now this particular part is the most important part now what we have to do we have to connect each data point with the center of the corresponding cluster right so for i equal to one colon length of data okay that is for all the data point we have to connect with the corresponding center right so I am using this particular for loop for traversing in my original whole data set. Okay. So this outer for loop is basically for for k. Okay. That is k means k hello. And this inner for loop is basically for traversing in my original data set. Okay. Then plot. Now see, just try to understand when we are trying to connect one data point with the cluster center. We require the... Uh, uh, x and y coordinate for data point as well as require the x and y coordinate of the corresponding cluster center right so x and y coordinate for the data point is very, very easy to get data of i comma one that is in that corresponding row first column is x coordinate and in that corresponding row second column is my y coordinate for the data set as simple as that but what about the center see center location all the major central locations we will be getting like here suppose k equal to 5 so we will be getting 5 central location for our data set right now we have to choose that particular center location which is belonging to that particular group so center location we are going to choose corresponding to that group which is stored in group index so group index of i okay group index we are using as row okay and column 1 
okay for uh, calculating the x coordinate and similarly central location group index of i comma 2 for getting the what y coordinate right then here we are going to give different color for different but different color for different connectivity in different clusters okay so line colors okay here comes this particular line okay whatever i have left previously line colors equal to r g b m c y k okay so you, if you want you can choose one time red color then green color then blue blue color then magenta then crayon then yellow and then black okay so based on uh, i okay based on one particular group index we can choose one color okay so for each group different uh, all the connectivity will have different different color okay one group will have red color connectivity with the center one group will have blue color connectivity with the center one group will have uh, green color connectivity with the center like that right and then giving hold on because hold on has to be given otherwise it will not uh, uh, be plotted on the same graph or else what you can do as you have given here hold on no need to give here okay you can remove this right cool now giving title k okay because for which k value our graph is uh, drawn that we need to check right and then i am basically making the title bit bigger so these two lines will basically make my title bit bigger that is changing the font size we can say title font uh, size multiplied you can understand it will multiply by this factor whatever we are giving then hold off okay because for next time we no need to keep our previous figure and then giving pause one for visualization purpose or i can give pause two also okay if you give more pause then it will take more time to go to next figure right it will work like that cool so control a and evaluate selection so if i just run this whole code first of all i will be getting for one cluster this for two cluster this for three three cluster like this for four cluster like this and for five cluster like this you can clearly see how beautiful the visualization looks like okay i hope you can understand this is one sector okay x axis is age y axis is pending score so this particular customer uh, segment is belonging to that category where the income of the customer is less and this pending code is obviously as a result going to be less right this one belonging to those customer which is having less income but high spending score okay that is they although their income is less but they uh, take goods purchase goods uh, in a good amount okay this one is belonging to middle category this one is belonging to those category of customers for which age is uh, sorry uh, income is more but spending score is less that is they want to save their money and this particular customer segment is belonging to those customers for which income is more and as as well as spending score is also more so if you are running one uh, mall okay that time you can focus more on this particular segment of the customer because it might be profitable okay like this machine learning is helpful in uh, this kind of data analysis related projects okay uh, to improve the business okay this kind of uh, analysis you can implement right so this comes under business intelligence topic also so this is all for my this video code again i'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching